and really inspiring because I feel like men, and this is something I haven't experienced, but I know men especially like struggle with mental health and struggle to talk about it because of um, the stigmas and, you know, this idea that you have to man up and like mask your feelings. And if you feel comfortable, would you mind like kind of speaking to that from your perspective as not only a clinician, but also as a man? Yeah. Um, you know, men, you know, we are groomed <laughs> and, and rightfully so as providers and protectors of society. At least, I mean, that's, that's the idea, right? You know, and, yeah. and the more of a healthy society. So, you know, when you have that going for you, you don't, you don't want to put yourself in a position where that's going to be threatened, right? Mm-hmm. Where one, you may lose trust of a group you're leading. Uh, the people, your friends may look at you different. They may not interact with you the same way. Your job may be in danger or be in question, right? Uh, so it's easier to not talk about it because in a sense, it makes you look weak or it makes you look like you, you, um, you're asking for help when you shouldn't. At least you, you can be made to feel that way. Yeah. And, um, you, you know, I, the, the question, you know, that I always ask myself when I am working with men, if I find, if I feel there's any reluctance is always like, okay, how can I ask this question? And this is what I'm talking to myself. Okay. So how can I ask the question about his direct struggle, like directly about his struggles in which he would feel just a little bit safe to address it, at least in this moment right now, you know, mm-hmm. how can I provide some safety? Because they're not going to open up if they don't feel safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so much of it is the wording of how you ask it. So 